Sugam Culture and Heritage Foundation for inviting me to present a lecture demonstration Know Your Instrument Veena for Malaysian International Carnatic Music Festival 2021. The Veena is among the oldest of Indian musical instruments. Its origin can be traced back to the ancient Yar, a stringed instrument similar to the Grecian harp. From the references to Vedic writings, it can date back to around the first millennium BC. Temple sculptures from the second century BC show a type of veena being played. In the ancient texts, sage Narada is credited with inventing the veena and Lord Shiva, inventor of the Rudra veena. What does the veena look like? It has a large round pot-like base known as a kadam, a long hollow neck dandi where 24 frets are arranged and a tuning box that curves downwards known as the yali. The whole length is about 4 feet or 1.2 meters in length. Its design comprises a fretboard with the 24 frets made of beeswax and charcoal mix. This black surface is divided by tiny rod shaped brass or bell metal rods. And this starting from the kadam to the yali, they, they start with narrow gaps and become larger towards the yali. There are primary and secondary resonators known as the kodam, seven strings, their pegs, curved dragon head and a bridge to hold the main strings passing over the fretboard and another smaller slanting bridge which holds the three strings along the side of the veena closer to the player. Veena players are known as vainikas. It is placed by the performer sitting on the floor. The main kodam is on the floor and the smaller one rests on the left thigh of the musician. Now we come to the tuning of the veena. The first string closer to the vainika, which is on the main fretboard, is tuned to a convenient pitch depending on the tension of the string to be able to play comfortably. For now, I have tuned it to the pitch F, which we say four shruti. Sa then subsequently, second, third and fourth become lower sa and lower ba. The next three, three strings to the side of the veena, they are known as the tala strings or drone strings. It can be just, it is played by using a little finger from the bottom to the top. 
either singularly or together. And we, when we keep rhythm for the composition and play it on the veena, uh, every time there's a beat, we have to play them, the drone string. I shall demonstrate it later when I'm playing the composition. Another special feature of the veena is the tanam. Pronounced tanam. And is one of the methods of raga in improvisation in Carnatic classical music tradition suited mainly for this instrument. And for that mainly we use the rhythm strings or the drone strings. The veena is said to be the only instrument when played can show all the gamakas or oscillations in Carnatic music, usually something that only most proficient vocalists can achieve. This is done by the tension pulling on the string. the length that is from up to down or down to up Bharata Bharata Muni in his Nadi Shastra has explained the theory of 22 shrutis in an octave with the help of two experimental venas. That's a science on its own, which is very elaborate for this session. Now we go to the types of veena. Scholars today consider four instruments are signified by veena, which in the past has been used as generic name for all stringed instruments. They are the Tanjavur Saraswati veena, Rudra veena, Vichitra Veena and Gotavadyam, also known as Chitra Veena. The Saraswati Veena is predominant in South Indian Carnatic music and the Rudra Veena used for Hindustani music. There is a lot of information which can be gathered on the internet these days and also from books. So I am not going into too much detail on the history and various types of Veena. Briefly, I will share the following. Being a generic name for any stringed instrument, there are numerous types of veena. Some significant ones are the Rudra veena, a fretted veena with two large sized tumba resonator below the dandi. This instrument is played by laying it slanting with one god on the knee and the other above the shoulder. Lord Shiva is said to have created this veena and it may be a post 6th century medieval era invention. Next we have Saraswati veena which is what I am using being a Carnatic musician. It's another fretted veena and one highly revered in Indian traditions particularly Hinduism. This veena is one that most Vainikas use in present day scenario for South Indian classical music, Carnatic music. The Veena is itself of two types, Ekanda Veena. This is made of a single piece of well seasoned special jackfruit wood. We have a, some, uh, an example of a Ekanda Veena here where there is no joint, it is one piece of wood from the big karam until the yali. Then there is the Ottu Vinay or joint. Ottu means joint in Tamil. Here we see a, a band where it is joined. So if you take away this, you get this bottom and this. So both are made from the special jackfruit, well seasoned wood. But in one they have this one single piece of wood and here it is joint. A well seasoned wood makes the tonal quality or timber of the veena very rich. 
This vena is pictured shown as two resonators of different sizes. It's played by holding it about 45 degrees angle across one's body and the smaller god, god on the musician's left thigh as I mentioned earlier. It is also said to be related to an ancient instrument of South India around the region now known as Kerala where the ancient version goes by the name of Nanduni, a stringed instrument. The third type is a Vichitra Veena and Chitra Veena or Gotvadyam. They do not have frets as the Saraswati or Rudra Veena. And the musician uses a rod made out of round glass. It's a glass piece, looks very much like a marble and it's got a name of its own called Ovoid, O-V-O-I-D. To slide on the strings this way and to create its own melody and ornaments. It's compared to a Hawaiian guitar in the western music scenario. What does the veena symbolize? The instrument represents creative arts and sciences. Goddess Saraswati holding it is symbolic of expressing knowledge where harmony originates. The veena represents almost every Hindu deity, so it's believed to have the ability to grant benediction, positivity and divine blessings. The oldest musical instrument of Indian, India, the veena symbolizes the Indian ethos throughout the country and has sociological and cultural connotations. Saraswati, the goddess of learning, is visualized as veena pani, the wielder or the bearer of the veena. This ancient South Indian Carnatic instrument has a uniquely complex mechanical system. It's a national instrument, the veena, is unique not only in its acoustic properties but also in its structure. Some scholars have drawn parallels between the structure of the veena to the human anatomy. The veena is resemblant of the human skeleton. I have a small picture here. Where the resonating kodam represents the skull and then the dandi and the dragon, yali. The human vertebral column is part of the human axial skeleton which comprises 24 presacral vertebrae. The vena strings that run parallel over the fretboard are close to how the spinal cord is enclosed within the vertebral column. This way, primary resonator is mentioned in literature as the brain of a vena, the skull of the human. I shall now demonstrate the most important feature in the veena using the drone or the thala strings known as thanam. The thanam has got certain practices with using the rhythm. So if we do a three beat rhythm, it is one thanam two, one thanam two, one thanam two, one thanam two or that and we can add two to the three, making it five. practices we need to do in our early stages of learning. So I shall do the three ragas that I used for improvising and uh, my last tanam will be in the raga abogi and I would finish conclude with the composition in this raga sabapati ki veradayvam samanamaguma in Rupagatalam, 
रूपक तालम इज बीट बीट टू बीट बीट टर्न सो इन दीट विल बी स्ट्रमिंग दाल स्ट्रिंग्स दिस इज अ कंपोजिशन बाय श्री गोपाल कृष्ण भारती to introduce this raga it goes i shall add it to the tal so we start with the maya madhava gaula second comes kalyani then comes karahar priya and comes abhogi
I'd like to thank Sugam Cultural and Her Heritage Foundation for giving me this opportunity to present this lecture demonstration. Know your instrument, Veena. Thank you. <laughs>